Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Uh, I started this YouTube channel uh, because I believe home cooking is crucial for physical wellness, psychological wellness, community wellness, and environmental wellness. Uh, when you hear me mention other videos, uh, you will see an evil icon that appear on the top right hand corner of the screen. If you click this icon, you will open up the video links panel. Uh, I have a video show you why you should choose a walk with natural surface versus a walk with non-stick surface. Uh, I have another video uh, explain the different type of materials that used to construct walks with natural surfaces. Uh, you should take a look at both videos. Uh, they will help you in choosing the right walk for you. Uh, the third consideration in uh, choosing a walk is how big it should be. As you can see in this picture, walks comes in many different sizes. Uh, over the years, I have used walks ranging in sizes uh, from 10 inch to 30 inches. Uh, during my college years, uh, at one point I worked as a cook in a Chinese restaurant and I used a 13 inch walk. The smallest walk that I have ever used uh, is a 10 inch walk. Uh, I used that when I stayed at an Airbnb. Uh, one thing I learned from using the 13 inch walk is that I can find egg in it as well as I can cook a meal for eight people. Uh, the bowl shape of the walk as well as its round bottom uh, allow it to use the minimum amount of oil. Uh, I also learned from using the 13 inch walk uh, because of its size it has a lot of room uh, to stir fry and it create minimum amount of splatter. Uh, cooking with the 10 inch wok uh, was frustrating and I make a lot of mess. Uh, for many years, I cook with a 12 inch wok with non-stick coating. Uh, it is limited. Uh, there are a lot of things I could not do, particularly when I cook leafy vegetables. Uh, for many years, I was under the assumption if I cook a small amount of food, then I should use a small wok, uh, just like with frying pans. I failed to understand the scalability of the wok uh, even though I work in a Chinese restaurant before. Uh, now I understand a bigger wok is better. Uh, it has more room uh, to stir fry and on top of it, it creates far less splatter. Uh, therefore, I should get a 13 inch wok. But that is not practical because there are many limiting factors in a home kitchen. First, storage. A bigger wok takes a lot of room to store it. For most home kitchen, any wok bigger than 14 inches probably will have a hard time to find place to store. A second, heat source. A bigger wok requires much more powerful heating source than most home kitchen can provide. A third, cleaning. A most household kitchen sink is not enough to accommodate a large wok. And so my recommendation to people who ask me what size of wok they should get, I will tell them get the biggest wok that you can that will within the limitation of your kitchen. Uh, it is for good reason that the most popular wok uh, is a 14 inch wok uh, because it is uh, large enough to do most of the cooking task. Uh, it is small enough uh, for it to store in most home kitchens and also to fit to the kitchen sink uh, for cleaning. Uh, you can see the video of ranking of the top 10 woks that I use regularly. Uh, I like my 16 inch wok the best uh, because of its size. Uh, however, it is pushing against the limit of my kitchen. Uh, I hope this is useful for you to decide what size of the wok that you want to choose. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, you can receive notification of my future videos. I'll uh, see you again next time. Uh, stay safe.